So let's just go ahead with this home tour and I can't wait, let's go. Today we are back with another home tour here in Benton, Arkansas. I am walking to the house we're gonna be viewing today. I love the exterior of this house and I'm gonna give you a preview of what it looks like. So come with me. Welcome to this beautiful home at 213 Hartman Lane in Benton, Arkansas. This house is listed by Carly Ross of Century 21 Parker and Scroggins Realty. This house has four beds, two and a half baths, 3,183 square foot on a 0.96 acre of property. So that's a big house in a big lot. So this property right here is located at Meadow Lakes Estate Subdivision in Benton, Arkansas. I want to talk to you about this subdivision. So this subdivision is conveniently located close to downtown of Benton. It also is have easy access to I-30, so commute, commuting between Little Rock and Hot Springs is doable and easy. Also, this is in Benton School District, so this subdivision attracts a lot of families with kids. And it's also perfect for people who are first-time home buyers or just want to settle in a quiet neighborhood. All the properties here have big lots, so you're not so close to your neighbors. Real estate market here in Meadow Lake Estates is generally stable as homes here retains its value because of the desirability of the location and what kind of lifestyle it offers. Uh, a all the homes here are generally newer, bigger, and a lot of brick homes and some are modern styles. The streets here in Meadow Lake Estates subdivision is pretty quiet and not that busy so it's ideal for walking biking or just being outside this subdivision is also conveniently located to a lot of benton amenities such as tyndall park tyndall park gets pretty busy in the afternoon every time we go there just because there's a lot of things for everybody to do they have a baseball field tennis courts pickleball courts basketball court skateboard parks flash pads playgrounds and they even have a disc golf it is also close to Sunset Lake Park, so if you are into fishing, that's for you. Meadow Lake Estates is also located in the Benton School District, so this neighborhood attracts uh, families with children. But this is also ideal for people who are first-time homebuyers or who just wants to settle in a quiet neighborhood. So if you are looking into relocating, investing, moving, buying, or selling in this area, let me help you. My name is Sheila Garasimenko. I am your local real estate agent here in Central Arkansas. My information will be over here. Call me. I would love to talk to you if you have any questions or if you are just contemplating on it, but you're not really sure yet, I will be the person to ask. I will also be able to, to schedule a Zoom call with you if you want a more personal experience. So let's just go ahead with this home tour and I can't wait, let's go. Let's talk about the exterior of the house before we go in. As you can see, it is very dark color, which I personally love. I also am a fan of the gables. I love how they put the wood accent and because they put that brick wall right here, it makes it more traditional but very modern still. I love the different dimensions of the home and it's because they put this triangle here and another triangle roof here. It feels more balanced. So let's just go in and give you a closer look of the property. Okay, so we are at the walkway. See how big your lot is. Like your neighbors are far from you, but you don't feel alone because they're still there. So outside you have this little front porch that you can put sitting where you can sit. And then you have that wood accent on the ceiling. They also included this little brick entrance. And the height of the ceiling, guys, it's just big. And they put those windows on top. Makes you feel 
but that's more light coming in. So let's go inside. This door feels so good to open though. I hate it when I can't open doors. Okay, as you enter, you have this little entryway. You can put whatever, and the first thing you will see is this modern barn door. This will be a little room. There you go, I'm gonna step back a bit to you so you can see what it looks like. So this, I think, could be an office. Has a lot of windows, a lot of natural light coming in. Yes. So you don't feel, you know, claustrophobic in a small room. So we're back in the entryway and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like from the inside. So you see the exterior is very dark, but they chose light colors in the house. I love that contrast. There you go. Okay, let me turn around. So from the entrance, you will be greeted by this great room. The size of this room is, doesn't, you cannot see it on the video. It's just bigger than most homes I've been into. Okay, where do we start? We'll start with this, the dining room. Not really a room, but a dining area. Very, very inviting. I love the light fixture they chose and the beam accent on the ceiling. Gorgeous, guys. And this is your view every day when you're eating. Huh. Okay, let's go on this side. Okay. So I think this room needs a big dining dining table and chairs. I love that they have they put this little buffet area or storage. It could be your bar. It could also be your coffee area. A lot of storage plugs for your appliances. As we go here, there's that beam again. I love the colors they chose. It's not too orange, but still looks very nice and modern. Okay, they continue that brick onto the fireplace and put that mantle in. You have the built-ins of each side. And one thing I love about this fireplace, so they put that on top and your TV won't be so high. Because sometimes it's hard when you're sitting on the couch and the TV is on top of the fireplace and you're, you're leaning your head back a lot just to be able to watch the TV. So there you go. I wanted to show you the this built in okay from this side this is your view there you go. so before we go to the kitchen I wanted to show you that you have access to the outdoors from your living area you have that double door with windows on the side I love how they're consistent with the colors. Like they chose white on the inside, but then they colored the trims here black, which is such a good contrast. You also have access from the dining room to the outside. I'll show you guys later. And they continue that wood accent on the ceiling. And they put a lot of plugs here. So just in case you want your TV out here or lights you'll have to do and this is your backyard is it that nice okay walk outside there's a little bit of slope here but it's not that bad all i hear is birds so this is your outdoors good good space for entertaining there's also more plugs at the bottom beautiful and they added the screens here. So just in case you want to keep the doors open, I mean, yes, but still want fresh air in, then you'd have that, you keep the bugs outside, but have a good airflow in the house. This is what it looks like on this side. Okay, let's go back inside.
headed to the kitchen. I love how they mix a lot of modern and a lot of natural accents, such as this, this pendant light. I don't know if they're wicker or rattan, I'm not sure, but they're very beautiful. It softens everything because sometimes when it's a new home, it feels so, it feels so cold, but this makes it moody. And they put that accent on the bent hood. This island, guys, is huge. Could probably fit like six, six stools in there or even more. Depends how big your stools are. And I wanted to show you guys this countertop has like bluish grains in it. Very beautiful. Okay, let's walk this way. So this is where your fridge is gonna be. A lot of storage all the way to the ceiling. They maximize everything so you still have that. And this will be your pantry. Put windows on the pantry. Good. You see everything. A lot of places to put stuff in. Put plugs here too, which is very ideal if you have appliances you don't want to be sitting outside in the kitchen. Okay, so this is your view from this side. How beautiful is that, guys? Okay, so let's talk about this sink. This has, it's not gold, I think it's kind of bronzy that is the the color of the kitchen cabinets I think it's kind of dark gray or black and I love how they kept everything so simple as a backsplash less grouting which means when you're cooking you know things don't get in it gas stove and the hood everything is well lit so you see everything right here gorgeous house on this side you have a little smaller breakfast nook probably and that is your view I said there is a access to the backyard from this side and that is the light fixtures they chose I love it simple here in the breakfast nook and this is your view from this side there you go okay let's go on this way first so this is where the bedrooms are located so this house is four beds two and a half baths so as you come here there will be a closet it can be your just additional storage and the first bedroom is located here. A lot of natural light coming in. It's really bright. And even though it's it's cloudy today, there's still a lot of light in the room. And you have that cabinet closet, I mean. There you go, with built-ins already. Let's look at that from this angle. So we're gonna go on. It is carpet though. And I love this floors too. So we're gonna go on the second bedroom big big size guys i feel like it would fit like a queen bed in here and you have that view in the front of the house and again built-ins i love when there's built-ins okay let's go and in the middle of everything you have that bathroom it's double vanity with big window oh not big window big mirror you have light and a lot of storage down here and it's a, a tub shower combo there you go I love that they kept everything the ceiling so high which is nice let's talk about this floors it kind of looks like a marble tile it makes it very classy and you also have that window so this is what it looks like from this side okay, let's get out of this bathroom 
So the next stop is the master's bed is on the other side. So it's a split floor plan. Okay, let's start with this from the from the dining area. So this will be your garage. Let's go to the garage. I love this garage, guys. So I just recently moved in the house with a big garage. It's a two-car garage, but it's very spacious. And this garage feels that way. Two-car garage, but you see you have a lot of space on the side. That makes a big difference when... I didn't know how much difference it's going to make in my life, but it did. They also put windows here, and it's very well lit. I seldom show the garage and do a lot of videos on it but I love this garage. And then over here, you'll have a storage space. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back inside. As we enter, you'll see this little mud room over here. Perfect for if you have kids or you just wanna hang up your bags and your shoes down there and this is the other half bath put the round mirror here and everything's so high which is nice it makes it feel more grand and they kept that um wood flooring i think this is lvp so it looks good okay so from that area we're going on this side and this is your laundry room. We'll get back to that. But I wanted to show you guys first the master suite. Huge master suites. I'll end with those beams again. They make the rooms more warm and more grand and special. The ceilings are so high, so the beams don't feel like they're, they're coming to you. So this is what it looks like. And this will be your master's bathroom. I always love when they put the tub right when you enter the master's bathroom. It just frames the tub real well. And they chose the simple tiling. Perfect. This tub is big enough. It's huge. And this is the tiles they use. Double vanity, which is extra big for double vanity. Like, it's huge. Both sides are big. And then... The bathroom is, uh, the toilet is there. There you go. Over here is a pretty big shower. They put a hexagon kind of tile and then the seat. And they added that indent right there. I love this simple tile design they used. And you have that rainfall and shower over there. Yay. Okay. So let's head on to this humongous closet. Plenty, plenty, plenty of space and storage for everything. I mean, this is more than enough for me. But if you liked having your stuff organized, this is perfect. So from the master's closet, here the bathroom we enter into the laundry room where we were a while ago so i love that they put the cabinet and then here's your space for your for your washer dryer and they put more storage on this side i love folding my clothes in the laundry room so i love that they put the little ledge and you know if you're drying something or you want to do hang clothes then you can put it there you have this storage for your things you use to clean for your house so brooms it's long so it's perfect for that vacuum I love that they put a lot of thought on where you're gonna put stuff so on it this is what it looks like on this side okay so from that we have this little hallway again so we're gonna go upstairs they have one more room which is located upstairs I love this staircase. I'm just showing you it's so simple, but very, very, very up to date. And they put white plants on this staircase. 
So this is the big, big bonus room or another bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom. It's big. <laughs> yes. Now I'm going to show you on this side. There you go. And it has that big closet too. That door is just access to the attic, but I just wanted to show you. So easy. This is very common in Arkansas, where you don't have to climb up a ladder. It's just easy access to everything on the top part of your house. Just wanted to show you guys that one. Thanks for joining me today in another home tour here in Benton, Arkansas. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I put a lot of effort into putting this together so that I can show you what Arkansas has to offer. I will be trying to put more videos regarding the communities here in Arkansas, so stay tuned for that. I would love to help you with your real estate needs. My name is Sheila Garesimenko. I am a local real estate agent here in Central Arkansas, which includes Little Rock, Conway, I also work in Bryant, Benton, and all the surrounding cities. Let me help you. My information is right here. Call me, text me. I'm available. And have a good day and come back for more tours.